Hello guys and welcome back to another exciting episode with Unlock My Guitar. This is Justin Brown and today we're going to go through four chords which you probably won't have come across and it's really going to make your playing very interesting. It's the really beautiful sounding chords when, when they put together and it's something that I've been trying to put together for about a year or so, just you know fiddling around going from chord to chord and I thought you know why not share it with you guys um, I thought it would be something you know of value to you and you know I, I'm not going to make any sort of like money off this and release it as like a top 10 sort of what hit, hit wonder or something like that so um, yeah I thought I'd just share it with you and it really makes your guitar sound like it's not in standard tuning so the four chords are E add 2 G sharp minor ninth A major 9 and the fourth chord is F sharp sus 4 so you're probably wondering what on earth are all these chord names they don't mean anything well to be honest they don't have to mean anything because uh, this is just a progression that you can play and as I say you can use it for your own sort of songwriting um, sort of uh, compositions or whatever and it just really sounds very unusual sort of exotic and, and it's got a really beautiful sort of sound between each chord and the, the, the trick behind this really is to get the, the notes to ring out okay to get them to really resonate and ring out so let's jump to the first chord and we're going to break this down step by step for you our left hand fingering is as follows we've got our second finger on the second fret of the A string our fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D string and our first finger on the first fret of the G string okay so it's like an E chord but with your with your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D string okay so the picking pattern is as follows we're gonna play E A D G B and that is with your thumb 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 index middle and the timing is as follows so we've got one and on the low E so we're gonna basically rest on the low E for one and then we're gonna to go to the A for the two D for the and G for the three B for the and so when I'm referring to the timing it's going to all relate to what strings you're playing on your right hand okay so if you can remember this E A D G B E every able dog generates bountiful energy I didn't just make that up just right now I've had that for some time and it's quite an unusual one I think every student that I've ever taught said it's pretty bizarre so um, well I hope it helps you remember it so it's basically every able dog generates bountiful energy okay and what we're going to do is as I mentioned we're going to relate this to the right hand the strings on the right hand so the timing is one hand on the low E two on the A and on the D three on the G and on the B and we rest for the four and okay so we've got one and two and three and four and okay so we've got one and two and three and four and and a lot slower it is one and two and three and four and what we're going to do now is we're going to keep our fourth finger so this is very important keep your fourth finger on the fourth fret if it's not died and basically just given way because I know this is a big stretch guys I'm really pushing you and you probably think why are you so cruel to me and uh, the reason is is to make your guitar sound 
well, your guitar playing sound even better. So it's free on good, guys. So basically, if you keep your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D, all you have to do then is to put your three fingers on the frets above and below. So what we've got is we've got our third finger on the fourth fret of the low E. We've got our second finger on the third fret of the G and our first finger on the first fret of the high E string. So we've got third on the fourth of the low E, second on the third of the G and first finger on the second fret of the high E whilst keeping your fourth finger in place on the fourth fret of the D. Again, the finger picking pattern, well, the timing of it is exactly the same. The only thing different that we're doing this time is instead of going from the E to the A, we're going to go from the E to the D. So we've got this, we've got one and, and that's going to be on the low E note. Then we've got two on the D, and on the G, three on the B, and on the high E. Remember to keep your fingers relatively close to the strings on the right hand, okay? I mean, if you're sort of fairly new to finger picking, uh, it's always best to hold your hands closer to the strings where possible. So we've got this. We've got one and two and three and four and. So remember to rest on the four and. One and two and three and and four and one and two and three and four and so what we've got so far guys is the E sus2 to the G sharp minor ninth so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and I'll play it even slower one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that is the first half of this particular progression so give yourself a huge pat on the back and we will go to the third chord of this progression which is up here and that is the a major nine okay so that is a major nine and we're playing all these notes we're playing a d g b and e and our left hand is playing this. We're playing with our third finger on the sixth fret of the D, fourth finger on the sixth fret of the G, and our first finger on the fourth fret of the high E. So third on the sixth fret of the D, fourth on the sixth fret of the G, and our first finger on the fourth fret of the high E string. And we're playing the same rhythm. So we're going one and on the A, two and three and once again it is one and two on the d and on the g three on the b and on the high e so one and two and three and four and remember to count the rest in the four and so it's one and two and three and four and and slower one and two and three and four and great guys so we've got one last chord left and that is basically this Yeah, so this particular chord, so once you've actually come out from the A major 9, keep your two fingers, these two here, keep them stuck like glue and slide them down to the 4th fret, okay? So, um, so, so you're going to slide them down to the 4th fret, keeping them together, 
and you're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the low E string, okay? So it's your first finger on the second fret of the low E string. Now, what I encourage you guys to do is actually put your second finger on the third fret of the G string. Now, the reason for this is we're going to lift our fourth finger off for of the last note. So when you come out from this, and you slide down, put your second finger on the third fret of the G string, and this is the picking pattern for this last part. So we're going to play one hand on the low E, two on the D, three, sorry, it's and on the G, three on the B, and on the G again. So I'll play it again. So one hand on the low E, two on the D, and on the G, three on the B, and on the G again. With your right hand, you're playing thumb, thumb, index, middle, index. And I'll play it nice and slowly for you. So it's one and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and, one, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. Congratulations guys, you've just completed all of this progression. And I hope you've had a lot of fun playing it. I'm just going to recap over everything that you've just done so that you can play over and over till uh, your fingers start to really hurt and everybody in your house complains. No, that's not what I mean. It is until you get to grips with it and you can really use it in your own progression. You can use this as many times as you like in many compositions. You could use them in different order. You know, you could use the cards in there like a different order. Um, whatever you like, guys. Okay, so I'll play this through for you. One and two and three and four and 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 and one more time, even slower. I'm so nice to you guys. So we've got one and two and three and four and 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 there we go so i hope you've really enjoyed this lesson and yeah, it really does sound like you're in a completely different tuning. I won't lie. So have a lot of fun playing this in your own compositions. You can use it for whatever you like. As I mentioned, I give you full rights to do so. And um, I'll see you on the next video. And if you've got any suggestions at all, leave it in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, and I'm going to release a lot more videos like this, hit the like and subscribe button and share it with people. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.